All right, I upgraded the video drivers to uh, 270.61. And since doing that, I seem to be able to do 1080p no problem. So let me use the same video I used. Right now we're at 720p. Go up to 1080. And it's still doing the same 30 frames per second. I did notice a weird thing where if you're in windowed mode and you go back out and it's still in 1080p when you try to go back in it seems like it's a memory issue and it still gets stuck at 10 because I think it's it's holding there's not enough memory on this on this car to be able to do it like this so right now I've gone to a windowed mode and I go back in full and it's running at 10 frames per second because I don't know I guess it's a memory thing however if you were to go straight into full screen and go into 1080p it's no problem so I think the whole window thing when you when you go into when you when you back out of full screen and for some reason there seems to be some kind of memory issue that when you go back in it's chugging a little bit when you go straight in there's no problem so I said let me actually just download one of these video files off of YouTube and see if we can play it standalone and so I just went and grabbed the first 1080p file I could find and let's see Windows Media Player and you can tell that you know, as a standalone file, the Ion chip can't handle 1080p. The thing says 61 frames per second up there, but I don't know. I think that's for some reason is being double counted because the actual file only does um, is only encoded at 29 frames per second. But you can see when it's an actual 1080p file, it's not a problem. You can skip along, do whatever, and it's it's running smooth. So I believe it's locked at the 29 frames per second. So, so I guess NVIDIA's claim that this can do 1080p are, are correct. I think the same takeaway from before is with an Atom chip that's not all that powerful and I guess limited memory, you know, doing stuff on the web at 1080p, so far other than YouTube, everything is kind of the same, you know, Netflix, the HBO Go, all the same problem, but it can indeed do 1080p, so. Make sure I want to just get that out there.